So this is just a routine, full upper body to get my body acclimated back to the movements, get my whole body working in unison. That's why it's a full calisthenic based workout. We're not touching any weights today. None of y'all stopping me, don't need to ask. Chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes, crossing eyes, stopping T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, look, this is the moment I waited. I took all my options and weighed them. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. I know it's been a while since the last upload. That's because I was out in Montana for a week. It's the first time I actually took a full week off in probably two years. Full week off of training. So today is going to be a full upper body session just to get my body back acclimated to the routine. We're going to be starting with shoulders like always. And I'm going to have some guests with me today. We're going to be showing you variations with some little kids also. We're going to be doing kids calisthenics as well. So it's going to be a full upper body routine for me. Then I have my boys, kids. They're going to be working out also. And they're going to be doing variations of exercise as well. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get it. Like always guys, we're starting with shoulders. So I'm gonna be doing handstand presses. We're not gonna be just going for one, we're going for three presses to set. Let's get it. All right, so we saw step one, for two and a half. As I warm up, as the sets get better, I hope to get three for the remaining sets. Let's go. All right, guys, set two. So I'm only getting two full reps on that third one. I'm fatiguing. I told you, it's been a week since I trained, but I also haven't tried doing multiple reps of handstand presses on the parallel bars in a while. So this is progress from the last time you guys see me doing the handstand presses. I'm usually only doing one press a set. So now we're getting two each set. We got two more sets to go. Let's get it. Hey YouTube, I'm Lucian. Today we're gonna do handstand training. There you go. Let's go. Solution here, guys. He's gonna be doing handstand progressions. So, hands a little wider. Okay, now you gotta do two. Ready? Right? One, one, two, two, kick straight up. Emma, then we're not coming back. So hold right that. Now. Hold so you, make Ten, you nine, hold it. Eight, seven, don't hold your breath. Six, five, breathe. Four, three, two, bend your knees and come down just like that. Perfect set. Tell him, how'd that feel? So, he's going to be building strength over time, just holding that position. Next up, let's go. There we go. Show him how it's done, Emma. See? See how good she was? Perfect. Hold it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, come down from your from knees. From the hips. Perfect. Good yeah. job, Bam. Excellent. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bend from your knees. Good. Hey, Derek. Come on, Derek. You going to do your push-ups? Let's go. And then watch. We got Derek now. Derek's going to be working on handstand push-up strength. Handstand push-up strength. One more time. Keep closer. Disgusting. Disgusting. Feet together on your tippy toes. Lean back. Head down. Look at your toes the whole time. Look at your toes. Put your head down. 
That's still progress from only the singles. So, three sets done, one more round. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Set four. That's insane. That's what she's probably Again, two and a half reps. So that's four sets, handstand presses, done. Like I said, guys, it's been a week since I did any type of training. So this is just a routine, full upper body, to get my body acclimated back to the movements, get my whole body working in unison. That's why it's a full calisthenic-based workout. We're not touching any weights today. I want the whole nervous system to be working, everything working in sync, reactivating the muscular, everything. So it's the first workout of the day with the handstand press-ups. Now we're gonna run some chest work. We're gonna be doing push-up drills. I'm gonna throw on the 12-pound vest, see you at the bar. All right, All right, guys, so right after the four sets of handstand work and the kids did their handstand holds or progressions, whatever, whatever they were working at, we moved on to some push-up exercises for our chest. I did three sets of this. The kids only did one set. It was actually tough for them. So the goal was to hit 30 reps, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. I do 10 reps while they hold, then Lucian does 10 while me and Emma hold, then Emma does 10 while me and Lucian hold. Then it goes 8, 8, 8, 6, 6, 6, 4, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2. So obviously, you're going to see Lucian and Emma. They're doing the push-ups as best as they can. And I got Lucian on the middle bar and Emma on the higher bar. Big E's helping Emma. That's Big E's daughter. So 30 reps total, and you guys see I have the 12-pound vest on. After this set, I rested two minutes, and I did this set two more times. To be honest, it wasn't too difficult for me. Originally, I wanted to do 10 down, trying to get 55 with the vest. But when the kids wanted to jump in, I altered it and did 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, adding the isometric holds in between with the two partners. So basically, you end up doing 30 reps per set with about 60 seconds of isometric hold each set as well. So three sets total of this. You're only going to see set one. Let's go. Six, come on, Emma. Come on, Emma. Six, five, four, three, two. Come on, nice, now, come even on. though their push ups may not be the cleanest form or perfect form, they did not let go of the bar the entire time. They stayed on the bar. Their muscles were active. They were in an isometric hold, regardless if they were hitting the push ups or not. So, them being able to hold for that amount of time is showing how strong they really are and how much stronger. They can get in the future. This is really good training for strength training and to increase your reps, guys. Good job. That's it. Check out your arms. Good work. All right, right. We're gonna be doing a dip routine. I'm gonna be holding a 20 second negative, and I have the 12 pound vest on. 20 second negative hold, and then 10 full range of motion reps. Nothing too extravagant. Again, guys, remember, this is the first routine I'm back on in a week. It's called just getting my body acclimated, really trying to warm up the nervous system. That's why you're going to be seeing me doing these isometric negative holds now. So, 20 second hold in the bottom position, 10 dips for four sets. Let's go. It. 
So guys, the reason why we're doing this eccentric isometric hold before the actual reps is it's gonna activate the chest more. It's gonna allow you to connect to the working muscles. Holding in the eccentric portion of the movement is forcing your body to feel the muscle that's actually working. You have to stay tense and in that isometric hold, feeling the constant tension on the chest. So it pre-exhausts it, but at the same time allows you to feel the muscles that are working. So you can really feel the chest working throughout the actual dips themselves. All right, let me see. I want to see you hold. All right, so I'm going to do my dip set. 20 second negative hold. Emma, wait. 10 reps. The whole time I'm going to be doing my set, they're going to hold locked out position. One, two, up, Emma. Ready? Hold. Hold it. Hold it, guys. 14, 13, Don't swing. 12, straight down, 11, 10, 9, don't drop, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, E, watch the camera, it's going to drop, 2, 1, let's go. Keep holding, guys. You got it. Feet straight, Emma. Light work. Good work. All right, guys, so it's going to be a partner pull routine. I'm going to go with Lucian. Big E's going to go with Emma. 10 reps each with isometric holds. So as I'm holding first, Lucian's going to be doing 10 reps. As soon as he's done with the 10 reps, I'm going to start. I'm going to get off of my hold, and I'm going to hit my 10 reps. So let's go. One, two. Let's go, Lucian. 10 pulls. Come on. One, stay tight. Two, clean. Three, beautiful. Four. Don't help him, E. Let him pull. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Hold right there. Hold. Hold. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now hang, Lucian. Hang. Hang. Drop down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect set. Go. And now you're going to see Big E jumped in a set so he could do it with his daughter and it's the same routine minus the isometric hold at the end. So Big E's doing a 10 second dead hang while Emma does her 10 pulls. As soon as she's done with the 10 pulls, she's going to hang and E's going to do his 10 pulls and that's going to be their set. And you can see E's making a lot of progress with his pulls. He's able to do a full isometric dead hang while Emma's pulling and then he almost bangs out a clean 10 reps on his own only using the green and the black band. He's been making a ton of progress on his pulls lately. We really focus on them almost every session. You can see he's a little shaky. I have to slow him down. But that's because, again, his body's not used to these high reps after that being on the bar for that long. So we're starting to lose a little bit of engagement. We actually train today, the next day, and we focus solely on controlling that swing. All right, YouTube. That's a wrap for the upper body routine. You guys saw we hit shoulders, chest, back. I didn't film the remaining back sets, but we ended up doing two more sets of the dead hangs with the pulls with the kids working with us as partners. So it was a full upper body routine just to get the body back acclimated into a workout routine. I told you I took a whole week off. That's how we did a full body weight routine again. Really activate the nervous system, get everybody and every muscle working in unison. So we started with shoulders, those handstand presses. Then we went into some dip work. Then we went into that push-up routine. We did three sets of that, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. From there, we did three sets of pulls where I held for 10 second dead hang. My friend's son, Lucian, did the 10 pulls. We did that for three rounds. So guys, hope you enjoyed the routine. Told you it was a little hectic, but just to show you guys, kids could be doing this type of training too. It doesn't have to be just for adults. It's body weight training. Start them young. They'll be the strongest in their age group. Don't forget guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Four naturals. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, look.